Dion Brown and Bella star in the highly anticipated Hulu series Queenie, based on the best-selling book. Thank you both so much for your time today. Thank you for having us. Dion, let's go ahead and start with you. The leading role of Queenie. When did you first read the book, and what did that mean to you when you first read it? I so I first read the book um, when I was I'd started the audition process. It was already something that was on my list because um, the hype of it came to me when I was like at drama school. So once I started auditioning, I was like, oh, this is perfect timing for me to read it. Um, so yeah, I read it whilst I was auditioning. And then once I got the part, um, I just, I read it all the time whilst we were shooting. And yeah, I think it was just, I think it hit quite close to home. I mean, for me reading the book, I didn't, I didn't, I think I didn't know that other people felt other I didn't know that other women felt the way that Queenie is you know she's articulating her thought process in the book of course but I, I didn't know other people felt that way so for me it was just like oh like this is great <laughs> <laughs> everyone else is on the same road <laughs> amazing and, and, as far as uh Candace Cardi Williams who wrote the book her debut her debut novel she's also the showrunner and executive producer you know what was it like to see her reaction to Casting the, the two of you, seeing the first couple episodes being filmed, now the series getting you ready to be, you know, shown to a, a broader audience. I mean, tell me a little bit about, you know, what it's like, you know, kind of seeing her reaction to this. I think her seeing her positive reaction is the most gratifying for sure, because she's the architect to the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think she was super happy with the rapport that we had with each other and how we were mirroring the relationship that she wrote so many years ago. Yeah, I think when you're when you're producing something that's your idea and you're in it, you're really busy and not really thinking about it. So it was really nice to see like her exhale when everything was finally done and her like just yes, this is amazing. <laughs> this is my baby come to life. So it's been really um, it's really been fun. And, and Deanna, let's go ahead and preview uh, episode number one where we get to meet Queenie as far as you know her her life, her career. We don't we don't want to do it too many spoilers, but you know where do we kind of set up as far as the very first episode? We set up at the top of the roller coaster. We see that she's a young woman and she's kind of in the thick of it already. So we're starting on quite a high point. But yeah, she's 25, quarter life crisis, work, relationships, family, all the things, all the mess, all the love <laughs> and all the joy. You know, it's something, you know, no matter what you're going through in your life, it's always important to have that person who's by you. Um, best friends some people you know i'm not sure if i'm aging myself out of you know the term bff or ride or die or whatever you might want to call that person but bella talk a little bit about that importance of having somebody who always has your back you know no matter what you're going through and someone you can bounce things off of yeah i think i mean we all we can all feel a little bit lonely so just the knowledge of having someone that's going to be with you through thick and thin no matter what is always really comforting uh it gets some people out of the bed in the morning do you know what i'm saying so i i I am very glad to be playing such a supportive role because I have a lot of that in my life. I know Dion has a lot of that in her, in her life. It's something we take for granted, but it's really a blessing that we can't, you know, overlook. That is wonderful. You had the, the premiere, you've been already, do, you know, working up this week. You know, what's it been like as far as people being able to see the very first episodes uh, and be able to, to chat with you afterwards? Yeah, the reception's been so lovely and we're super, super grateful because we did, we did work hard on it. So. I, you know, as as is normal with art, you want people to receive it well. Sometimes they may not, and that's okay. I think we've relinquished any idea of control that we would want over it because we don't we don't have any. We've done it now; it's going to come out. People are going to receive what we did. Um, yeah, that's it really. And, and then, really quickly, but before we go, as far as generational trauma and generational situations go. You know, not only do we get to see, you know, the friends and the things that Queenie um, is going through, but we also get to see her mom, her aunts. Like, there's a lot of family decisions, a lot of things that the family decides that are, like, a little different than what Queenie's going through. Talk a little bit about that aspect. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think family is, well, for Queenie anyway, it's the genesis of her, of her coming into the world. They're the people that know her the best. They're the people that have raised her, they hold her, they love her, they accept her. Um, so yeah, I think it's super, super important. It hit close to home for me in particular because I'm of Caribbean descent. Um, and Candice, the writer is also, but I think it's the idea of fellowship. So yeah, I think that is, it's, it's so important to just show her roots and her origins and 
that she's coming from. Wonderful. Well, we cannot wait to see the series. Dion Bella, thank you so much for your time today. Coming to us June 7th on Hulu, a couple days earlier if you're in the UK. And uh, much success with the, uh, with the series. Thank, thank you. you.